Welcome back to the channel. My name is Vasa Olga. In today's video, we're going to be... Uh, first of all, I'm so happy to be back. In today's video, I'm going to tell you the reasons why I was not in the picture. Let's say it this way. And I'm going to tell you some interesting things, some interesting stories that, in my opinion, will be really interesting for some of you guys. And um, today we're going to be recreating 70s makeup look. I've been waiting for this opportunity for a long period of time. I had this in my plan, kind of like in not planning for a long period of time. And finally, I'm doing this for you guys today. And if you're interested in how I got this makeup look, which is definitely 70s, and this color, like lip color is definitely 70s, something that I really don't like for my complexion, but still like <laughs> wearing for you guys. Uh, let me get started. As always, I'm gonna get started with my moisturizer. So today I'm using a little bit different moisturizer. This one I bought yesterday, I guess. It's it's called Himalaya or Himalaya or something. I can't say that I don't like this moisturizer. It's really light. If you have this one, that's great. Well, if you don't, then you just don't. Well, to my favorite stuff, this is Deep Health Essence, good stuff, hello, good stuff, under eye area serum. And a little bit of this hello, good stuff, 3-in-1 face mist, hydrating, fixed, refresh with watermelon extract. I kind of like this product and I ordered the same essence product one more time. Uh, I'm waiting for a delivery. Last but not least step is a little bit of moisturizing pro base primer. This is face primer. I love it because it's moisturizing. It's really light. It doesn't feel artificial. I have the ordinary primer as well, but in my opinion, this one is a little bit better. I haven't noticed any difference, huge difference between the two primers, but this one is a little bit lightweighter than my silicone based primer. Guys, I've been missing you so much. When I haven't been able to film anything throughout the whole week, it was so surreal. I felt like I was kind of missing, skipping my work. I don't know why, but it's just like my husband is always, just relax, come on. It's not gonna hurt anyone if you just keep like a few videos and whatever. And I'm constantly into this kind of like motion mode where I cannot stop. I have to keep going and going and going and I feel like I'm doing absolutely nothing if I sit down and do nothing. I cannot say that I'm a workaholic practically. By the way, this is more Makeup Academy Pro Base um, foundation. This one I've been using a lot on my channel. I'm going to use a little bit. And you know, I'm not a workaholic. I love spending time um, beside TV or read some book and do something else but you know just it feels like you know when I do it too often and when I don't do much I feel like my life is just you know flying by and I'm not participating in that's why I have my plan when I'm done with my plan I kind of go to some TV mode you know just I watch relax and of course sometimes I do get these days when I just don't really want to do anything so now I'm going to my Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer I would need a tiniest bit of my powder. This is from Makeup Revolution. To a little bit different technique today, I'm not gonna be using a lot of contour. I'd say I'm, I, I will be more than okay with my Olive Contour Palette. It has only four shades, practically three shades and one highlighter color. I'm gonna go first um, for this shade super super soft and then I'm going to a little bit darker one but that's gonna be a little bit later I'm gonna use my angle brush grab a little bit tap off and just stamp this over my cheekbone like that then I'm gonna start bringing this up and of course a little bit under the nose the only thing that I've noticed that in 70s people they didn't really pay attention to nose contour but at the same time I kind of see that they did some nose contour. That's why we're gonna go to, I guess, a little bit more aggressive shades for my contour. This is gonna be the color that I showed you right in, like about two or three minutes ago. I'm gonna do the same thing with a little bit darker shade. Tap off, apply, you know, just, but try to place it a little bit more precise. And of course, I'm going to need a lot of contour. I'm not going to do this too wide on the nose sides as uh, all these models do have. 
So I guess I'm going to this um, brown color, grabbing a little bit, tag, taking this off with the help of my hand, and then I'm gonna place it really close to the nose bridge, but it's gonna be really soft. A few more touches to the side when it's clean. I'm gonna diffuse this shade a little bit with the same sponge. I've noticed that they're wearing some more contour in this area. I have some leftovers on my Morphe M433 blending brush, but I'm gonna use like the softest shade and place it in this area. Another really important step in my opinion is to make sure that your blush is everywhere. Like everywhere. That's why I'm going to my Mua Makeup Academy blush. That's it's shattered. I do I do know this fact. In fact I I keep mentioning this every single time. Place it generously, like generous amount of this blush is gonna be everywhere. Cheeks, you know. Everywhere. I know this blush is intense, but you can't go wrong with blush in 70s, you know. I'm not sure about highlighter. I guess they do have some highlighter, but probably, yeah, on the tip of the nose, I can definitely see some highlighter. That's why I'm gonna grab some pen brush and I'm gonna do that with my Moa Makeup Academy highlighter. This one is really good, I love it. Okay, I'm using my e.l.f. brush and the same highlighter for my cheekbones. I'm not crazy with this product, just applying a little bit. Mad Magic Mist and Set Setting Spray. Beauty Blender. Oh my god. Oh, like real quick story. First of all, just let me do one thing. I'm gonna do my brows. Probably use some eyeshadows. This is, by the way, BH Studio Pro Ultimate Neutrals Shadow Palette. I love it so much, and I use this palette every single time I want to create neutral makeup looks. So I guess the shade that I'm gonna be using today, like maybe these two shades, I'm gonna play with them. And I'm kind of creating my own brow shape, but making this thin. So the reason why I wasn't able to film any type of videos because my cat just stopped eating. It was um, last Friday, Friday 13th. She just stopped eating. We went to that and over there we got some kind of like bag results. People asked us to, uh, you know, go home, uh, give her some medicine. And then next day we had to come back and take some blood tests as well as um, some, other, some other tests. And it turned out during our second visit, they like started su suspecting that she had gastritis. Gastritis is the disease. It's not like a disease. It's some sort of like a thing. Yeah, it's a kind of disease where you have maybe too much acid in your stomach or just your stomach is aching and you feel constantly some nausea. You just cannot eat. It's painful. Your, your belly is aching. Everything is aching. You cannot eat. And that's the the thing that I do have. So I was so nervous, I was so frustrated during these days because she kept, you know, um, refusing any type of food. She didn't want to eat anything. And of course, we were concerned. We started giving her pills, some antibiotics, but it still didn't work for her. And on Monday, my husband, he came back to the same vet and he said like, okay, so she's still not eating. What do we do? Maybe we should start giving her some other pills. And most of these pills are for people as well, but you have to reduce portions like 12 times. And uh, like this doctor, she said, okay, so if she's still not eating, uh, we would need to give her some medications. We had to stay with her for some um, droppers. Look, we've been staying with her for four hours or five hours. So during this whole thing, that's why, guys, I was literally exhausted mentally, physically at the same time. Of course, I didn't have time for any videos. I didn't want to film any video because I felt not even exhausted, but I just, I, I, I kept crying. I cried a lot during these days. So it wasn't really serious, but at the same time, I was so worried, especially when she went peeing. 
and she had not only gastritis, but she had some um, kidney problem and, you know, just a lot of things. She went to the toilet and um, it turned out to be some blood in her pee. And I was super scared. I instantly called this vet and asked about that. They said like, it's kind of okay if she had too much stress and she did actually had a lot of stress. That's why we just need to, you know, control the situation. And the next day my husband actually went to this clinic again. And then they checked, it was just because of stress. So she had some blood in her pee. It wasn't like blood, blood. It was just like her pee was um, pink with the, some kind of like pink in her tone. And yeah, it was, it was really scary. So what I did, I created some sort of like my shape, but a little bit more round contour. And uh, I just used some eyeshadows from the same palette and it's really close shade to my natural hair color. So as for eyes, I definitely can see that she has something purplish, blue purplish shade. And um, let me focus on first my primer. This is gonna be from NYX. I'm going to Makeup Revolution Next Reloaded palette, though you can see that it's been a while since I actually used this palette. I'm gonna go to some soft purplish shade. Maybe this one. Yeah, I, I guess I'm gonna go to this shade. Grab and place it in this area with my big and fluffy brush. Bringing this up to the brow bone. This color is going all over the crease and even closer to the nose bridge. Might look a lot, but that's what I have, like the vibe from this photo that she has a lot. I'm gonna use some flat brush and probably use like this shade maybe. No, I'm gonna go for something blue. Tap off and I'm gonna apply this. Oh, this is definitely 70s. I don't know why people used to apply these two shades together. Like that was ultimate combo. Uh, let's use a little bit, probably a little bit darker shade. This shade mixed with this one. So I'm gonna apply this in the outer corner. Yeah, it's so cute. To my pen brush and the same highlighter, let me highlight my inner corner. And I'm gonna need a little bit of my black liner. This, from, this one is from Matte from Maybelline, it's matte. And I'm not gonna create any wing. No, I'm just gonna keep it simple, really simple, just black and that's it. I'd say in person, that's much better. <laughs> Why? I don't know why I said so. <laughs> like on camera, it's not good. And of course, a little bit of my Maybelline mascara. By the way, I kind of ordered some new mascara. And you'll see what brand this is. And I'm gonna compare it to mascaras. Finally done. And my final step is to create something for the lips. She has some orange in her tone. I, I just don't really like orange for my complexion and my skin tone, it doesn't look right. I tried a few times to wear orange or coral color. It didn't work for me like at all. That's why I'm, I have like really bright NYX soft matte cream, lip cream. Um, lipstick and I have some NYX liquid lingering professional makeup lipstick and first I'm gonna apply this really soft shade over my lips it's almost beige and then while it's still wet I'm gonna place a few dots here and there yeah all right uh, let me outline my lips first. That's nice, but I really, I, I hate this shade for my complexion. I really do. Okay, I'm gonna need some lip gloss to finish this look, and I'll be right back. Guys, and that is the final result. I hope you really like it. I feel like it's uh, it's nice to experiment with something like that, and it's nice how, you know, um, in 10 years makeup had changed into this because I did my 60s makeup look around two, three months ago and it was completely different. It's nice for someone if you really want to try to recreate this gorgeous makeup look, I still think that it's gorgeous, then please 
try this out and let me know in the comments if you don't then just don't and skip this video i love you guys i'm gonna see you in one of my videos hopefully really soon and till my next time bye bye